Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Yochua Cory, aka Crasher, here with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video to discuss Pokemon Horizons. We were selling some brand new episode titles that have been announced, so without further ado, let's get into discussing them. So the first of three episodes to discuss in this video, ladies and gentlemen, comes in the form of episode 14, set to take place on July 21st. It is titled Fly Watrell. And the summary goes as follows. Roy and Fuecoco go to see a strange Watrell who isn't with its flock, but... And that's a rather short summary that we got going on there, folks. So what I find interesting about this episode is that in the preview of episode 13, we see Roy and Fuecoco encounter a wild Watrell, and now in this episode, we have more focus on Watrell. And I wonder if it's that same Watrell from episode 13. I also wonder if perhaps this here is going to be Roy's moment where he captures and adds that Watrell to his team. But what do you guys think? So moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves episode 15 revealed. It is set to take place on July 28th, and it is titled, Someone We Can't See, Who Saw What's It? We also have a summary to go along with the episode. Liko suddenly goes missing while out shopping. The rising Volt Tacklers search Artisan for her based on reports on her whereabouts. Dot has gathered through the internet, but are unable to locate her. As the group grows increasingly nervous, sensing the involvement of an enemy they can't see, Dot plays her trump card and contacts Iono, popular streamer and gym leader of Valencia. Okay, there are two big standouts here in this summary. Firstly, Liko goes missing, and despite the efforts of the Rising Volt Tacklers, are unable to locate her. I wonder if perhaps the Mysterious Explorers group might have anything to do with that. Secondly, we have the debut of Iono. What I find also interesting is that Dot has contact with her. That is something I'm quite curious about. How will Iono's involvement impact the episode? I'm very curious about all of this. And now let's move on to the last episode of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 16, set to take place on August 4th. It is titled, As Long As I'm With Quaxley. And the summary goes as follows. Liko's pendant has been stolen, and the Rising Volt Tacklers have set off to retrieve it. But then the ancient monster ball Arbolova went into starts shining, and the light leads the group to... Well, this definitely wasn't the summary that I was expecting. I was actually expecting for that episode, based on the title, to revolve around Dot's bond with Quaxley, but... This is definitely something that caught me off guard. Because it seems like the events from episode 15 are being carried over to this episode, episode 16, and it seems like the reason behind Liko's disappearance has to do with her pendant being stolen. But what's also interesting is that Arbolva's ancient Pokeball actually starts shining and it's leading the group somewhere. And I'm wondering what that is all about here. And if we remember back to that special preview around late June, where we seen a quick shot of someone holding Liko's pendant, I wonder who that is. Man oh man alive, ladies and gentlemen, to say that we are having ourselves some hype times come up in this series would be a massive understatement. Holy cow, I am so excited for this. And let me know your guys' thoughts about this as well. Which of these episodes are you looking forward to the most? And what are your thoughts overall on the series of Pokemon Horizons so far? And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Always have, that will never ever change. So thanks again for watching. And have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, baby. And I'll see you guys in the next one.